eyeballs down here. Notice that your eyes are on this side of the bar. Okay? That's about right. This distance and this distance the same. Okay? Ready? Push up. Lock your elbows. Now here's where the bar goes. Straighten out your elbows. There we go. Find your place on the ceiling. Big breath. Just exactly like that. One. Right there. Three. Four. And last one. Five. Good. Eyes down here. Just exactly like that. Okay. Now that's a good grip. Ready? Let's go. Right there. Now, chest up as high as you can get it. That's it. Pull those shoulders back down under the bar. Just exactly like that. Good. One. Big breath every time. Drive it right back at that spot on the ceiling. That one was a little high on the chest. It's all right, we'll fix it next time. Sit. Notice that when I'm benching, I mean, when I'm spotting you on the bench press, then I'm not in your way. It's a bad idea. Come in a little on this right hand here. Bad idea to think that the spotter actually participates in the set. I'm gonna hand it off, let's go. And then I'm gonna get out of the way. I don't want to insert my hand even in his sight picture because that interferes with his ability to see his stationary reference. Just to make sure he gets it in the rack, I might grab it and put it back up. Eyeballs on this side of the bar. Scoot in just tiny, there you go. It's important to be far enough away from the rack that you don't hit these things coming up, okay? If you've ever had any trouble with that, that's why. Okay, that's a good grip. Take your thumb, there we go. Ready? Out over the chest, locked elbows. From locked elbows to locked elbows. Now that's a, quite a bit of lateral movement that you're making it come back toward me, Dave. Right there is where it needs to go to. Spot that place on the ceiling. Put it right there. That's it. That's the position. Look it right into place every time. So your eyeballs will carry that bar right where it needs to be every time. Good. Let's go down just a, there we go, right there. Now I'm just another half inch, that's it, okay? Okay, ready? Let's get it. Wait, fix those elbows. Shove them out to the side a little better. That's much better, two. No bounce, touch and drive up, four. Good. Don't bounce the bar off of your chest. I want you to think about a piece of glass laying on your chest that you have to touch, but that you can't break. People get in the habit of bouncing the bar off their rib cage and using the rib cage and the sternum as kind of a giant spring to help them bench press. We're trying to use the bench press to develop as much muscular strength as we can. And if we use a rebound off of a bony structure like that. It's not only dangerous, but it defeats the purpose of actually doing the bench press like that. It's not the same as the rebound out of the bottom of the squat. Rebound out of the bottom of the squat is a function of the muscular anatomy of the squat. This is when you, when you whack yourself in the chest and get a big bounce off the chest, you're just using a mechanical assistance from the fact that your rib cage has not yet been crushed by your attempts to cheat on the bench. Okay, so watch that carefully. Okay, Monica, plant your feet a little bit more carefully against the, against the ground this time. Now, show you a little trick. 
you're in the right place. Now, I'm the weight of the bar. I want you to take your feet and scooch back toward me like this, and I want you to use your legs to shove your chest up, just like that, good. You just obtained about another half inch of height. You've got a nice firm plant against the bench now too. You're actually helping to throw some of the stress down to the ground when you do that. I don't want you to do it to the extent that your butt comes up off of the bench, okay? But I want you to do it to the extent that you shove your chest up and thus pull your shoulders back down under the bar and reinforce that good mechanical position that we talked about earlier. Okay, take your grip. That's about right. Ready? I'm gonna hand you the bar. Now you reinforce that cell, that, that arch. Squeeze up, shoulders back, push this way with your feet. Good. Here's where the bar goes. Chest up higher than that. There it goes. Big breath. Touch every time. Don't come down so fast. Control it on the way down. Okay, think slow down, fast up. Fast up, fast up, as high, as fast as you can go. Touch the chest, fast, that's much better. If you will think about coming up, even as you're going down, your rebound out of the bottom and your drive will be a lot more effective, okay? A little too wide. Think about right here is where you need to be. About like this. Good, squeeze the bar. Leave your fingerprints in the bar, okay? Let's go. Squeeze your elbows into a perfectly straight, just exactly like that every time, okay? Find your place on the ceiling. Big breath. Take your breath before you go down, okay? In other words, great big breath right now. Big breath. Good. Again, big breath before you go down. Four. And last one. Good. Rack it. Okay, Shelly, listen. Sit up on the bench. I want you to pinch my hand between your shoulder blades. Okay? You have now squeezed all of these muscles tight across the upper back that interface with this bench. Okay, tighten that up. Now, lay down. Chest up as high as you can get it. Nice and tall. I ought to be able to now stick my hand underneath your back. Now, were you standing up and were the bar on your back, as we saw earlier, that would be an overextended position. However, on the bench press, it's okay because the spine is not loaded on the bench press. There's nothing compressing your spine here. And the bigger an arch that you can produce in this position with your butt planted and your shoulders planted, the better your shoulder mechanics are gonna be. The better they will operate, okay? So let's take a, take a grip right there like that. Good, just like that. Ready, let's go. Okay, that's good. Now, reset the arch. Keep it up. That's a good position, okay? Big giant breath. Look at the ceiling. Good. Don't speed up on the way down. Just come down, touch and drive. Touch and drive as hard as you can. Good. Big breath. Drive it up. Even on the way down, you're thinking about going up. Drive, drive hard. Big breath. Good. Excellent. Okay, good. Rotate those hands into a position where the bar is right over the end of your arm bones. Good. Chest up as high as you can get it. Pinch my hand between your shoulder blades, just like that, good. Feet planted, 
shove back into the arch. Tighten up against your upper back and the bench. Ready? Take it right there. Okay, big giant breath. Good. Two. Three. Moving well, last one. Good. Okay, Dave, are you still working with his neck injury? Yes, sir. Had a little strength deficit on which side is it? Right. On the right side. Try to make sure that everything works evenly then. Take that grip, grip is even, everything is even. Concentrate hard on that right arm. Great big giant breath. Now put it in the right place on the ceiling this time, good. Let's see if we can get you a little more vertical. Touch there and look it right into place. I like that a lot better than the previous two reps. Excellent, and last one. Stare it right into place, good. I think you have developed in the course of rehab in this injury, a tendency to make a big rainbow in the air here. The shorter that lateral displacement is, the more efficient the bar path is gonna be for your shoulders. So let's try to get that compressed down into a manageable width, okay? It's impossible to have it vertical because if it's vertical at the very bottom, then we've impinged your shoulder or we've operated down here in a position that's extremely difficult for the shoulder at the top of the bench, okay? So we need to hit it more up here and we need to make it more vertical, as vertical as we can get it. It won't be completely vertical, but it needs to be as vertical as you can, as you can handle it to be as you can stand for it to be, as you can make it be, okay? So there to there, just like that, instead of here to here, instead of here to here, okay? okay. Let's see something and see if we can make this work. Sit up, pinch my hand on your shoulder blade, more than that, squeeze. Now arch at the same time. Get in this position, okay, with your arms out in front of you. Squeeze chest up, squeeze my hand between your shoulder blades. There you go. Now lay down, and let's see if we can maintain this position when you press, okay? Come in, just, good. Ready? Squeeze chest up, let's go. Reset it, chest up real high. Shoulder blades together in the back. Great big giant breath. Fix these elbows. Out to the sides more than that. That's better. Three. Four. And last one. Five. You're pausing on the chest. That's good for a powerlifting competition, but there's not really any need to do it in our form of training. I want you to touch on the next set, just touch and come back up without any pause down there. And let's see if that improves your efficiency, okay? Now, this ought to be your work set. Remember that chest up position. Remember the loading the spring from the floor. Ready? Right there. Now, make sure the chest is up as high as you can get it. Shoulders back together in the back as much as you can. Great big giant breath. Good. Push hard, Monica. That came down too fast. Control your descent. Down slow, up fast is your model, all right? Good. Control on the way down. Fast up. Fast up, good. And last one, control this last one. Good. Use your thumbs, always use your thumbs. Okay, eyes in the right place. Okay, ready? Take it right there. Now set the chest up high as you can. Shoulders back. Lock this elbow out. 
this and is reluctant to lock out. So you better think about that real hard. Feet planted, squeeze back this way. Big breath. One. Two. Take your breath before you go down, not on the way down. You'll take a bigger breath if you take it first than if you take it on the way down when your chest is under tension. Great big breath. Excellent. Last one. Big breath. Good. Okay. Good position. Take your grip. Big breath. Chest up real high. Let's go. Not so much bounce, just touch and drive. Much better control, good. Drive. And last one, let's get it, Shelly. Drive, drive, drive through it, good. Nice effort. Good position that time. Okay, last set, Jack. More pinch, chest up better. Big air. Big air before you go down. There it is. Good. Okay. Is that it? Nice, tight, little narrow bar path, Dave. Good. That's it. That's much better than previously. Yeah. Take this last breath before you go down. Squeeze it out. Good. I don't see a lot of asymmetry right to left on that. I think that's healing up. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Elbows. Get your chest up better than that. Last one. 